guys, it's Fanny and welcome back to another mukbang. Today we'll be making some creamy, spicy kimchi udon pasta and yeah, I'm like really really excited for this because I was watching some food videos and I saw someone eat them I'm like wow, I want to try making that myself so we're gonna do that today but before you continue watching make sure to like, comment, subscribe and turn on those post notifications because you know that'll really 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 help me out okay, let's go Hey guys, the food is now all prepared and everything smells really, really, really delicious. Let's go over really quickly what we are eating today before we begin eating. So over here we have some spicy, creamy, cheesy udon with kimchi and Korean Berkshire sausages. And then here we have some shrimp cutlets. Whew, okay, I am really excited to try this. I saw this in a video and I was like, wow, I really want to try making this. Like, no, there's no recipe. I just kind of winged it. But honestly, I made it similar to the same way I would make kimchi pasta. But instead, I did add some um, Samyang fire sauce in here. I added cheese as well. But other than that, the recipe from this to what I usually use for my kimchi pasta is very similar. Oh, I added bits of broccoli, but like, honestly, you can barely tell. <laughs> okay, guys, let's take the first bite. Ooh. Yes. Look at the udon. Mm. Oh. Mm. That creamy, spicy, cheesy goodness. 
oh it gets me every time and these are my favorite korean pork sausages oh yes i'm telling you guys these are the best sausages hands down if you disagree with me we're gonna fight <laughs> they are so freaking good Oh, this is so delicious. Honestly, I think I like this better than my kimchi pasta. Mm. The addition of the cheese really helps. It tastes more creamy. And I love the taste of the kimchi in here. Oh, also, this time, another ingredient that I added that I didn't add before is samjang. It is like this Korean dipping sauce, and I added gochujang too, this Korean red pepper paste. Samjang is a bit spicy, but it's more sweet, so it definitely sweetens up this dish. And then gochujang is just like a red pepper paste, so it helps thicken it up and give it more of like a little spicy taste. Oh, yeah. Hmm. So delicious, guys. When was the last time you guys had udon? It's actually been a while for me. I don't even remember. Maybe like a month ago. <laughs> I love how there's like a lot of sauce this time. So I can like drink it like it's a soup. <laughs> another sausage mm. I outlined all of this with the sausages can you guys see it's very cute right if you guys decide to try this recipe please let me know what you think? It is very delicious. Oh, look, I found a broccoli. Hmm. <laughs> broccoli tastes good in here too. It really just absorbs all of the sauce. Even if you guys don't like broccoli, I'm sure you will like the broccoli in the sauce. Let's try one of these shrimp cutlets. I got these from H Mart in the frozen section, and I honestly have no idea how they taste like. So let's try it out. Mmm. It's not bad. If you like fish cake, I mean, it doesn't taste like fish cake, but if you like fish cake or like shrimp patties like i've had a shrimp patty before actually hmm. mm. this is for you it has a very um seafood flavor it's tasty though my old pescatarian self would really enjoy these because like if you don't want to eat meat you can always eat a shrimp cutlet which is seafood so if you're pescatarian it works out let's dip it in the sauce now Mmm, yes. This is very good in the sauce. Mm. The shrimp patty has like a bit of sweetness to it. So it really helps balance out the sourness of the kimchi and this udon. I'm a fan. I would get these again. Mm.
recently I've just like been inspired to try some new recipes <laughs> so I've been watching some YouTube videos and I just see food that looks really good so today I was like I'm gonna make this creamy spicy cheesy udon and tomorrow I want to try making pineapple fried rice with spam but I'm going to use um, cup of noodles with the fried rice. It'll be very interesting. A curry cup of noodles with fried rice. I've never done this before, so I'm hoping it tastes good. But yeah, stay tuned for that, guys. <laughs> Get another shrimp cutlet, dip it in the sauce. Mm. I love how the shrimp cutlet Taste in the sauce, it's just so good. This shrimp cutlet, but my boyfriend does not like it. <laughs> he ate one of it and he's like, nope, it's not for me. But he also doesn't like fish cakes, so it's probably why. Hmm. Time for some boricha. Okay guys, that is it for today's mukbang. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. We still have a lot of sauce left over, but do not worry. I will reuse the sauce. Um, I'm probably just going to add some more pasta in here or just mix it with the rice. It's really, really, really good with rice as well. But yeah, we're going to save this for later. And yeah, before you guys go, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications because you know that will really, really, really help me out. And until next time, see you guys. Bye.